Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for the month of September. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. Aquarius, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Aquarius, is the hermit. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the two of swords upright. All right, so Aquarius. Your biggest challenge for the month of September has a lot to do with the Hermit. Now, for many of you, uh, you may know this or you may not, but Mercury is going to be retrograde until September 15th, plus five days in order for it to stationary and then move direct. So this could be affecting you on a very deep level. And we're gonna talk more about this because this is happening in your eighth house. If you're a rising Aquarius, this is happening in your eighth house. This could be connected to your taxes, your um, joint ventures, finances, joint partnerships. Uh, there's a lot of this internal energy of going within, spending a lot of time on your own. And it's hard for you, right? Because you may be saying to yourself, well, you know, I don't want to be alone or I don't want to isolate myself. There's a reason why you're going through this. It's very, it's been very challenging for you. We're going to talk about that. We're going to see why that's showing up for you in a moment. Now in the recent past, you have the eight of wands, you have the six of wands and you have the five of swords. So in the recent past, I'm really strongly getting for many of you, there was an opportunity here for success. There was an opportunity for success, communication about that. I do feel like there was a lot of competition here in the past, and I'm not sure why that's showing up. We're gonna talk about that, we're gonna clarify it, and we're gonna get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Three of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and you have the Four of Pentacles. So. In the present moment, there is a very strong energy here of reconciling, coming back together with someone, celebrating something here, celebrating your love with someone. Uh, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I'm getting a Taurus here. Uh, Cancer is really strong, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I'm getting a strong energy in the present moment, Aquarius, that somebody here hasn't let you go completely. There's still this very strong connection uh, when it comes to this particular person, okay? And we're gonna talk more about that when we clarify. Now, in the near future, you have the Ace of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and you have the Star. So in the near future, there will be a moment in time where you're gonna want clarity from a particular person, okay? A particular person could be a, a Taurus, maybe another Aquarius, a, a, a Libra, a Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You want clarity from this person. I do see a lot of healing in the near future for you. This could be you spending a lot of time doing spa treatments, doing self-care, all of this stuff that's showing up for you. Some of you, I'm just gonna throw this out there, some of you are doing a business that's connected to self-care, okay? Or you're, you're um, collaborating or you're working, cooperating with a particular person, and this could be in connection to something that could lead to a lot of abundance for you, okay? Now, if this is not about your finances, this is about a relationship, there's something here about wanting clarity. I want the truth. I want clarity. I want to know where we stand. That's the energy that I'm seeing for you in the near future. And we're going to talk about that when we clarify. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the two of swords upright. And underneath that, you have the two of wands with the five of pentacles. What you don't see coming is the fact that even though there is a relationship that's coming into your life that could potentially lead to you moving into a new direction, you're still upset about something that happened here in the past. And this is why right now, 
uh, Mercury is retrograding and it's affecting all of us. It's not only affecting you, it's affecting all the signs. So even though there's something beautiful and amazing and great that's coming into your life that could lead to a new beginning, for many of you, you may decide not to move towards this new beginning, at least not in September, because you're still affected by something here that hurts you on a very deep level. And it's very much connected to a separation that took place. Okay, maybe in August. I'm getting in May for some of you, okay? Um, June, July, uh, June, June or May is a very big month where there could have been a separation or some sort of issues, okay? So that's what I'm seeing in terms of what you don't see coming. So let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify your challenge. Okay, so the Hermit is clarified by the Nine of Cups, the Justice, and the Ace of Wands. Your biggest challenge here is this one, one important question you need to ask yourself. The one important question that you may be asking yourself, Aquarius, is can I truly have a new beginning again? Can I have a passionate new beginning that I love, that I really want? Can I have a new beginning with this person? Can I set things right with this person? Is this new beginning that I would like to have with this person something that is gonna lead to the fulfillment that I'm looking for? Because you're looking to feel satisfied. You're looking to feel fulfilled. And I think your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with the fact that you've been isolating yourself. You've been going into hermit mode and really thinking about what what it means for you to have some form of a new beginning. I'm seeing 1233 on the clock. You're going to want to check out what 1233 means for you in angel numbers online. So ultimately your challenge has a lot to do with a new beginning and determining whether or not this new beginning is something that is going to lead to balance. It's going to lead to fulfillment and satisfaction. So even though there's an opportunity for a new beginning, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're acting on it because you want to make sure hundred percent that it's worth your time and energy. And that's a big part of your challenge. Now let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the five of swords. So the five of swords is clarified by the three of pentacles. You have the nine of pentacles and you have the eight of wands. So in the recent past, there was definitely some sort of communication here. This communication came in when a lot of you could have been single or you could have been, you know, just doing your thing on your own. Somebody here could have been, uh, fighting for you or wanting this with you. And for many of you in the recent past, uh, it was almost like an uphill battle you know, dealing with a particular person here in the past, even though there was an opportunity here for success and abundance. So it was almost like someone really wanted to be with you. They really wanted to collaborate. They really wanted to make this work with you in the past. Tell me more about the eight of wands. Things looked really great here in the past. But there was a lot of this needing to convince the other person like, oh, you know, we're going to be successful if we move forward. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. So yeah, this is what happened here in the past. There was a lot of power struggles between you and this person. And I do feel like you were dealing with maybe a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries. This person was in and out of your life on and off, but they still it's almost like they were dangling the carrot in front of you, right? It's like, oh, I'm still here, um, but I'm going to do whatever I want. So even though something in the past seemed very successful on the surface, it doesn't necessarily mean that it was successful internally. And I feel like in the recent past, somebody here kept you um, hanging by a thread, okay? Uh, and it almost felt, Aquarius, like you were single anyway. So you could have been dealing with someone or vice versa where it's like, oh, well, I feel single anyways, even though we're together. And yes, it does look successful on the surface, but what's happening internally, okay? And this is why a lot of you may be questioning, should I give this person a second chance? Should I give this situation a second chance because of what happened in the past? And this is typically what Mercury retrograde does. It, it makes us reevaluate the past. It makes us reevaluate our experiences and the things that we've gone through. So in the present moment, uh, there's something here about reconciliation. And I know some of you may comment and say, well, no, that, that doesn't resonate with me. Well, maybe it's not your reading, okay, for this month. But 
Three of Cups is talking about coming together, celebrating. You could be coming together with friends. You could be celebrating. I feel like this is a reconciliation though. Let's clarify it and let's find out. Tell me more about the Three of Cups in the present moment for Aquarius. So the three of cups is clarified by the ace of swords. You have the seven of swords and you have the five of cups. So moon is at the bottom of the deck. So this is a very important message that you need to hear Aquarius. So in the present moment, whoever this person is that you've been dealing with, they, this is someone who in the present moment, you don't trust them. They may not trust you. There may be this ruthless, uh, egotistical, narcissist energy in the present moment. And the five of cups is here. So there could have been a third party. So even though somebody in the present moment, and I don't feel like this is you, it could be, but I feel like this is your person. Even though this person wants to come back together with you, they want to reconcile, they want this with you. You want some form of clarity on why it's like, why do they want to be with me? You know, why is it all of a sudden they want to come back around? You know, do they not remember the pain that they caused? Do they not remember what I went through? Some of you are finding the truth out or you found the truth out in the present moment. And now it's almost like, even though this person may be confessing to you and saying, Hey, I love you. Queen of cups. I want to be with you. Is that enough for you to give this person a second chance? And this is why your challenge has a lot to do with the justice because the justice is all about what it's all about resolving things. It's about making and setting things right, making things balanced, making things fair. So a lot of you are thinking about this. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Tell me more about this person in the present moment for Aquarius. Okay. So you have the queen of cups, which is clarified by the nine of wands, the death and the ace of cups. Yes. So here's the thing. I'm going to just throw this story out there. It may resonate. It may not take it as it resonates as you need to, uh, in the present moment, there's new love that's coming in for many of you. Okay. There's a new opportunity in love that's coming in. However, you have somebody here from your past that's coming back around in the present moment. And this typically happens during Mercury retrogrades, people, exes come back, you know, things from the past come back in. Somebody here wants a second chance even though you ended things and you're done with them, they haven't completely let you go. Okay. Somebody here is still holding on for dear life here with the four of pentacles and whoever this person is, they really love you. They're now realizing all the mistakes and the things that they did that they shouldn't have done in the past here. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be up to you, but there's a new energy coming in and it's interesting because when I was taking a shower today and this is kind of personal, but I'll, you know, it's part, it's part of your reading. Um, I kept hearing this song and it, it goes, I got a good new girl now that that song it's like from the eighties or something. And I was like, why do I keep here? <laughs> I'm like, why do I keep hearing this song? Um, over and over again, I was in the shower actually before I went in the shower, I put that song on and I was like, somebody has somebody new coming in. I don't know which sign it is, but somebody has a new person coming in and it wasn't Gemini and it wasn't Libra. It's you. Um, so that song is related to you. I've got a new girl now. So I don't know if you've got a new girl now or you got a new guy or whatever, but there's someone new coming in. And I think that this person who you've had issues with for quite some time is now realizing that you have, um, somebody new coming in and it's bothering them. They don't like that. Okay. Tell me more about the four of pentacles. Why is this person still holding on to you? I thought that this was done. I thought that this was over. I think because in the past there was a lot of potential here between you and this person. Yeah. So this person doesn't like that you're moving forward. There's a chariot. They're keeping that hidden and you have the 10 of wands with the king of cups and the empress. So yeah, this person, you know, they still really um, like you and want you water sign, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Even though things became very difficult between you and this person, they still believe that there's an opportunity to nurture the situation and, and for it to grow and for it to, to be better. Um, so I feel like in the present moment for many of you, there's one cycle that's closing out for you and a new cycle starting, but somebody energetically here hasn't completely let you go. Okay. Now in the near future, there is going to be an opportunity to set something right here, possibly with someone from the past. 
okay? Or you gain some sort of clarity on what your next step needs to be. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords for Aquarius in the near future. This is an Aquarius reading. If I said Libra, it's an Aquarius reading, okay? And Mercury retrograde is happening now, so I just wanna make sure I'm clear on everything. Now, I'm just going to say this before I pull the cards. Ace of Swords is telling me that in the near future, things are going to get clear for you. You're finally going to be able to decide and make a decision because some of you are needing to decide or make a decision in the present moment. And you may be, you may feel hesitant on doing that. It's because of the energies. There's like, six, I think there's five or six planets retrograde right now. So it's affecting all of us right now. Okay. Ace of Swords is clarified by the temperance. You have the Six of Swords and you have the Knight of Cups. So in the near future, over time, you're going to let somebody go. And I think what who, you, who you're letting go is this person who treated you really badly, who was very narcissistic, who cheated, lied, took advantage of you. It's not until that you disconnect completely from this person and you start to heal, which is what I see you're, you're going to be doing. You're going to finally be focusing on yourself. Um, again, I see a lot of you doing like spa days, um, self-care, you know, doing your hair, doing your, your makeup, taking care of your skin, all of this stuff. It's like you finally now can focus on yourself because in the past or even in the present moment, it's been hard for you to disconnect from this person as much as you want to. And you may not admit this to yourself, but you know internally how you feel. Like it's been very hard for you to disconnect from this person. Maybe there was a codependency here. Maybe there was... Um, this, 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 uh, energy of needing to rely on this person. So for many of you, I do see something here working out for you. I see you collaborating or coming together with people who are going to support you. And over time, you're eventually going to emotionally disconnect from this. Okay. So the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords, you eventually, not only mentally do you disconnect from this because you gain some sort of clarity over time about this, but you're also going to emotionally disconnect. And I see this person disconnecting. Okay, so you have the strength, the page of wands and the pool. Yeah, with the star. This is your important message. Okay, Aquarius, your important message is the star healing, going within, focusing on yourself. There's a new beginning that's coming in for you. You're going to be moving into a completely new direction. You're going to have more self-confidence. And this is why what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the two of swords, because even though you went through a really bad experience in the past, which led to a separation, this separation needed to happen for you to learn your value. And this is something that happens for all the signs, just at different times. So when you start to learn and appreciate yourself and know your value, and you decide to finally move into a new direction, that's when the right connections come into your life. The right people are going to start showing up. Some of you are saying, well, why can't I attract the right people in my life for work? Why can't I attract the right partner? It's because you're still connected to something here that energetically was not healthy for you. And you thought it was going to change and you thought it was going to get better. But every time you try to make this work or you try to make it better, it just leads to more depression, more sadness. And this is about you recognizing and learning your value. This is connected to the the people you're collaborating with. And this is why Mercury is happening. It's retrograding in your eighth house. This is all of our collaborations coming together, working with certain people. Who do we collaborate with? Who, who do we share resources with? Okay. So that's what I see happening for you. Yes. For the first two to three weeks of September, there's going to be a lot of delays, but it's allowing you to recognize and realize what it is that you have to emotionally and mentally release. Okay. So let's get some advice for you. What is the advice? You're going to be attracting in the near future, the right people when you finally let go of the wrong people. Okay. So the advice here for you, 10 of wands, of course, the death, of course, and the devil. Do I need to say anything more? Your biggest piece of advice, Aquarius, is to recognize the type of relationships, the type of people, the type of situations that you're involved in that are toxic. What is toxic in your life? Is an environment toxic? Is a specific person toxic? Is a relationship toxic? Is a work environment toxic? Is your lifestyle toxic? What is creating a lot of burdens in your life. Can you recognize ways to transform and change these experiences in order to have a new beginning? Because one of the things that spirit is trying to tell you is in order for you to truly have a new beginning, which is a part of your challenge, 
you need to recognize what you need to let go of. Some of you are doing something or you're involved in something that's not healthy for you and you keep questioning why you know, opportunities and things aren't opening up for you. They're going to open up for you when you recognize cycles need to end. Okay. We're moving into a new season. We're ending one season and moving into a new season. And this is a big message for you. Recognize what's toxic, recognize what's not healthy, recognize what needs to transform and change in your life. And when you start to do that, all the problems, all the burdens are going to go away because you're showing the universe, look, I'm ready to accept something new because I've cleared the slate. Okay. So Aquarius is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.